On this super review, let's take a look at the Pilot Metropolitan Fountain Pen. So I recently opened up a, a Discord server where we can talk about headphones with you know like-minded people that are really into headphones. And it turns out there's a lot of overlap between people who are into headphones and people who are into fountain pens. I didn't know that. Now I'll be frank, I am not into fountain pens, but I was curious. So I asked the crew for a recommendation. I asked for essentially, you know, what's the 10T2 of fountain pens? What's something that's, you know, relatively low budget, but punches above its weight class. And this is what people recommended. So this is the Pilot Metropolitan. It's a fountain pen. Again, I don't know anything about fountain pens, but I am curious to see what this is all about. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Pilot and we'll find out what we get inside the box. And then I'll do a little bit of writing with it and I'll let you know, what do I think? All right, so we got the Pilot Metropolitan in a box and let's do a quick tour to, to give you a sense for what might be inside this. Um, I expect it's just a pen, but yeah, we'll do a quick tour. So first of all, this is for sure the largest box for a single pen I've ever bought. And if you're into fountain pens, you're probably just kind of annoyed with me at this point, And I apologize for that, but this is my first fountain pen. So around here in the back, we've got a little sticker that's got the model name on it. It's a Metropolitan fountain pen. I got it in black. It comes in three colors. It comes in silver, black, and gold, and maybe it's available in more colors, but those are the colors that were available on Amazon. And I thought the black just looked the classiest. And then it is also available in different nib sizes. And the nib is just kind of, you know, determines how large of a stroke your, your penmanship will have. And I tend to write small and I've got bad handwriting, so I went with the fine tip. Uh, is that gonna be good for me? I don't know. I think, I think that could help me. Uh, I just, and also just a warning. I am gonna spend some time writing with this thing and you're gonna see my handwriting and you're gonna you're gonna be completely disgusted and I apologize. But yeah, that's about as much as we're gonna find out about this pen without opening it. So let's go ahead and find out what's inside. All right, so we got the Pilot Metropolitan completely unboxed, and there's a little bit more in here than I expected. I kind of just expected it would be this pen, but it did come with a little set of instructions, and these instructions really just tell you how to refill the pen, um, which is definitely useful for me. I'm a total noob, but I feel like I could use a few more pointers, frankly, when it comes to using this pen. And then on that note, it did come with a, an ink refill cartridge, which is a nice little touch. Uh, and then you do also get a carrying case. It comes in this little carrying case, which appears to be, you know, reusable if you wanted to. It's plastic. You know, this shell here is an even thinner plastic. Um, but that is actually kind of a nice way to store the pen. And then, of course, you got the pen. And then, as I described before, I got the black version of it. Uh, and it does have a cap. The cap does have a little clip on it so you could put this in your shirt. I'm probably gonna use this clip to hold this thing to a notebook that I use at the office. Um, and the pen has got, you know, a little bit of weight to it, but not a ton of weight. This thing is mostly made out of plastic still, um, but it definitely does have a nicer weight to it than your traditional pen, especially if you leave that cap on there. That cap is adding some nice weight to it. Uh, the rest of it, look, I can't really comment much on a fountain pen. It's handsome looking, um, but I don't really know what to be looking for. What do you guys think? Is this a good looking pen? Maybe it doesn't matter what it looks like. What really matters is how is this thing to write with? So I'm gonna go ahead and, and I'm gonna try and figure out how to write with a fountain pen. And again, my handwriting is gonna be terrible, even with this beautiful pen. Um, but I'll come back and I'll let you know what do I think of the Pilot Metropolitan. Okay, I've been writing with the Pilot Metropolitan for about a week now, and I'm ready to give it a quick review, but again, just FYI, this is from the perspective of someone who's not particularly into fountain pens. This is my first fountain pen, and it'll probably be my last. That said, I am actually pretty happy with it. First of all, some corrections. During the unboxing, I said a couple of things that were inaccurate. So one was I described this as not being made out of metal. That's wrong. 
Um, this thing is mostly made out of metal. It is made of some plastic, like this uh, this part of the pin up here is made of plastic. There's a band around here that I'm not sure what that's made out of, but the bulk of this pin is made out of metal and it does give it a nice weight in the hand. It's not a real heavy pen, um, but it does definitely feel a little bit weightier than your average plastic ballpoint pen for sure. The other thing that I got wrong was I mentioned that there was a refill cartridge in that came with it. And that was kind of true, but kind of false because that wasn't just a refill cartridge. That was the only ink that this pen came with. So I guess the correction I'm making is that it wasn't a refill so much as it was just a fill fill. Either way, the other thing worth calling out was the uh, the insert that was inside there before they call it the converter. Uh, I learned that you use that to suck up ink from an inkwell, which I don't have an inkwell. Uh, I'm, I, that sounds way too messy for me. If you're really into fountain pens, that's probably pretty frustrating to hear me say, but yeah, um, that's not gonna be for me. If, if I do refill this, and I probably will, once this thing runs out, I think I will be keeping this thing up um, I'll just use the standard pilot refill cartridges. So as a pen for a pretty average person like me, right? Again, I'm not a, a fountain pen aficionado. I think this is actually kind of a nice thing to have just around, like it inks really smoothly, not necessarily any smoother than like a really good ballpoint pen. Again, I'm sorry, uh, fountain pen enthusiasts. But you know, you, there are some good ballpoint pens that ink pretty smoothly, but then a lot of them are just garbage. And this is definitely not garbage. This is definitely a nice, smooth writing pen. So if you want something that will reliably write smoothly, I think the, the Metropolitan is a pretty good option. That said, worth calling out that you do have to be a lot more careful with your penmanship when you're using a fountain pen. Um, with a ballpoint pen, you can just kind of pick up the pen, not really look at the pen and just start scribbling at any angle. This is a lot more precise, or you have to be more precise with this thing. You have to make sure that the, the metal part of the pen is facing upward. You have to keep kind of a, 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 a solid angle. You know, you can't just be constantly willy-nilly willy changing your angle on it, because it's gonna change the way that this thing writes, and it's gonna write at its optimal smoothness if you're careful about it. So. That's one thing that's worth calling out is that you have to be a little bit more conscious of it. And that comes across in another way too. And that is something that I discovered when I dropped this pen. And that is that a fountain pen, or at least this Metropolitan fountain pen, is more fragile than a ballpoint pen, right? A ballpoint pen you can throw in a backpack, you could probably lose it in the laundry, accidentally do a load and it would be fine. Not the case with this fountain pen. So I dropped it, and then when I took the cap off, I noticed that there was ink spilled all over the tip of the pen. Um, and that just made it a little bit of a mess, right? So, in my opinion, this is probably not a good solution for, you know, throwing into a backpack and taking back and forth between, let's say, school or work or something like that. But I do really like this as an option for just having a nice writing pen, you know, at home or at the office. Because frankly, look, I, I have bad penmanship and I generally just don't like writing with a pen. The good news is I don't have to do it often. I primarily work on a keyboard, um, like most people probably in 2018. But when I do have to write with a pen, it's kind of nice having something like the Pilot Metropolitan to just give it, I don't know, it's just like a little bit of extra specialness and it, and it makes me actually kind of look forward to times when I have to use a pen. So for that, yeah, I'm actually, I'm pretty happy with this pen, to be honest. So if I were to rate the Pilot Metropolitan, I'd have to give it four stars out of five. Look, I think this is definitely the nicest pen I've ever had. And it's a $15 pen, it should be. But if you're really into fountain pens, you, you probably know that a $15 pen is just the tip of the iceberg. And for me, that's probably where it's gonna stop. I don't see this being a future hobby of mine. That said, look, I, I respect it. Um, if you're into fountain pens, I respect your hobby. Uh, it's just, it's probably not for me. And mostly it's just because my handwriting stinks and I'm not really that interested in making it better. That said, uh, I'm pretty happy that I have this and I think I'll keep it up in terms of maintaining uh, its ink fill. Um, I might even get a second one to keep at home and one to keep at the office because yeah, I, again, like I, I don't like writing with a pen but having something like this makes me actually look forward to it a little bit. So if you're interested in checking out the Pilot Metropolitan, of course, I got links in the description down below. While you're down there, you can hit the like button for the video if you liked it. 
You can subscribe to the channel and then I'll see you in the next super review.